We're going to talk about barbershop scented shave soaps coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in another video. This time around, we're going to kind of give an overview of some of the barbershop scented shave soaps that I have here in my soap collection. Now, this came about because of a, uh, an email from a viewer named Al Spencer. He wanted to know what makes for a barbershop scented shave soap. And as I explained to him, uh, it's going to mean some different things to different wet shavers based on the area of the country you were raised in. But uh, most often or not, it's the kind of scent that's going to be a throwback to your youth when you made that first visit to the barber shop and you, you took in all those, all those great scents and aromas that were in that barber shop. That's that's what you're going to relate it to. So any of these soaps here are probably going to be a throwback to that kind of experience when you were a young man getting your first haircut or getting your first shave, something like that. When you were a toddler or a, a young teen uh, getting a haircut, getting a shave at that age, something like that. Uh, these soaps are going to evoke those kinds of memories. And again, it's going to mean a little something different to different people based on the area of the country that they leave, lived in. And if the barber made his own soap, made his own aftershave, uh, that sort of thing, or if he relied on some of the tried and true uh, brands that were out there. A lot of these soaps here that I have here are an homage to some of those scents of yesteryear. And uh, yeah, they all share a uh, similar DNA, and I'll try to describe them as best I can. But uh, trust me when I say they all fall into the barbershop ballpark. There are going to be some nuances and differences there. And what may be a barbershop scent to me may fall a little short to a barbershop scent for you, perhaps because you just live in a different part of the country or a different part of the world and you didn't experience that scent in your youth. Um, but all of these, all of these really, uh, for me, just evoke that barbershop kind of scent. Uh, so let's kick it off with the very first soap that uh, that I used uh, for the wet shave that really just said barbershop to me, and that is Tabak. This really, really, it's a very basic, somewhat fresh, slight powder note to it. It's a very distinct scent. Now, I know they've reformulated this. They've taken the tallow out and they've reformulated it, and a lot of wet shavers are okay with that. They just don't want this classic scent to change. And uh, it really is, <laughs> best I could put it, is a classic barbershop scent. It's, it's, this is, it's, it's fresh. It has that little bit of a powder note, so a little bit of a dryness there to it. As it and, but boy, it is just, it really does evoke a barbershop. It's very, very basic. It doesn't have a lot of, uh, different scents uh, kind of folded into it. It's just one basic kind of barbershop scent. Uh, and again, I guess I could describe it as fresh, a little bit of a dry edge, a little bit of a powder note to it. It's just very unique and very, very distinct. Tabak, really, really like this a lot. The soap that I um, thought uh, was barbershop scent all the way Tabak uh, was upstaged by an artisan soap. My other uh, experience with the barbershop scent is uh, shave soap from Sterling Barbershop. This, I thought, wow, when I, first, when I first experienced this, I thought, yeah, now that really is barbershop. That's a step up from Tabak because it's folding in some other scents, which is why I think maybe perhaps this might be more barbershop to some viewers out there because it might have some of those other scents from your particular neighborhood barbershop shop. Barber shop shop. And uh, <laughs> yeah, this has a nice warmth to it, a little bit of a vanilla, a little bit of a spice there to it. It just, it really just has that warmth 
and welcoming scent of a barbershop. Uh, very, very unique. Not much of a powder note at all, uh, but uh, yeah, this really is a nice classic barbershop scent. One that I use today to shave with, which is barbershop only in a fresh way, uh, a beach French way, fresh way, is the Good Vibrations uh, Barbershop Boardwalk Barbershop Scent. Can you see that right there? And I just shaved with it, so I'm drying it out a little bit. Yeah, this has a more uplifting, a more summery kind of barbershop scent. Uh, but you could use this year round. But if you're shaving in the summer, this is a terrific, terrific barbershop scented shave soap to use during those hot summer months. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it really, it really does have that nice, fresh barbershop uh, quality to it. But it's more open. It's more summery. It's a little more light uh, in the fragrance. Uh, it's terrific. And I'm going to let that keep that open and let that dry out. Here's one right here that is just a throwback to uh, soaps of yesteryear. And that is Oud Spice. Oud Spice is a Phoenix Shavings homage to Old Spice with Oud in it. And uh, oh yeah, you get this really nice Old Spice uh, barbershop kind of scent, but with oud in it. And it really is uh, something that I would put into the barbershop qual uh, category. Again, this is very different from the ones I've just showed you, but it still has that, that great, great barbershop-like quality. Now, this is kind of like unobtainium because I don't think... I don't think this is available right now. So when it does become available again, and hopefully Doug and Fran will make this available again, grab some. You will not, you will not regret it. It is a wonderful, wonderful scent. And again, it has that barbershop-like quality. Uh, again, all of these soaps I'm showing you, I have barbershop-like quality. Many of them are an homage to other scents of yesteryear that people would, would describe as being classic barbershop. One such is CAD. Uh, this is an homage to Barbasol and Barbasol, the classic Barbasol, Barbasol scent. And, uh, oh, yeah, that is, that is a wonderful scent. If you grew up years and years and years ago and your dad was shaving and he was Barbasol, this, this is going to bring back that memory. And that's why I put it in the barbershop category because it's going to evoke those memories of when you were a little child running around and your dad was shaving. Yeah, this is absolutely wonderful. CAD, this is a terrific, terrific, terrific scent. Uh, CAD, it's a Barbasol-like scent. In the same kind of approach, uh, Phoenix Shaving has Hotel Cecil. Now, this is an homage to Burma Shave, which is another great scent from the 20s and 30s. Yeah, that is, that is kind of, you know, oh, that is a wonderful, it's a, it's, it's very different from CAD, yet it's similar. Does that make sense? It, it's, it's kind of in the same ballpark, but it's on the opposite end of the field. It really is a very, very good, it's a terrific scent. It really is. Hotel Cecil is another great barbershop kind of scent. I would say it, it really, it really is very, very different from from the CAD and the, the other barbershops that I've that I've showed shared with you. Yeah, it really is very, very good. Slight powder, just a little slight powder note to it. But uh, again, another really great barbershop-like scent. And again, I guess you're going to have to experience some of these for yourself. You'll know what I'm saying. It's difficult. It's really difficult to describe some of these scents. Uh, but just know that this is a nice, fresh, uplifting scent. Uh, gosh, you know what? I gotta. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do these side by side. Just to. Okay, here's CAD. Yeah, and here's Burma Shave. Yeah, you know what? They're at opposite ends of the field. They're very, very similar, but they're opposite ends of the field. That's that's really how I. If you were to put these side by side, you'd understand. <laughs> you'd understand what I was saying there. Uh, just both terrific barbershop like scents. Uh, two more that are kind of, uh, that kind of square off. Uh, Diver Down from Phoenix Shaving, which is an homage to Seaforth uh, Spiced, which is a terrific, terrific classic scent from the 40s and 50s. And uh, 
it was uh, I, uh, from what Doug was saying in uh, uh, during the release of this, when uh, Seaforth Spice, I guess, was uh, competing with Old Spice, and there really were battle lines drawn there. You were either an Old Spice guy or a Seaforth Spiced guy, and uh, yeah, this is terrific. There is just something about this. It has a little bit of a kick to it also. I think that's Spike Nard in there that gives a little bit of kick to it. Uh, it's not menthol, but it's something like a menthol. It is terrific, but I love the scent of this. And again, this is a barbershop scent with a little more edge to it. Really like it a lot. Uh, Seaforth Spiced by um, Spearhead Shaving Company. This is their homage to Seaforth Spiced. This is really wonderful. It's a little more subtle than the Diver Down. Now, I've often said the difference between these two is um, Diver Down walks right up to you and says, hello, how you doing? Shakes your hand. Seaforth Spice kind of kind of walks up behind you and taps you on the shoulder and says hello. That's kind of the how these two uh, differ in their approaches when it comes to the scent. This one is a little more prominent. This one's a little more laid back. Uh, but both of them, uh, have that great Seaforth spiced scent to it, scent to them. And uh, again, another another kind of classic barbershop scent. So all these I'm showing you, for me, fall into the classic barbershop uh, scent category. This one is wonderful. Uh, and anybody can sample this with, uh, at your local drugstore or on Amazon, Club Guy. This is the homage to Pinot. Clubman. That's why I say you can sit, you can you can compare this for yourself. Just buy some Clubman, buy some Club Guy, and you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is a classic, classic barbershop scent. It just it, it there's this. I think this scent more than any other is probably uh, familiar the world over. I really do think that. I think that you get a little bit of the taste of this in every barbershop around the world. That's why this one is so familiar and. Club Guy is the homage to Pinot Clubman, and, it, and, and, and in some regards, it's even better than Clubman. And it is a wonderful, it's a wonderful, wonderful barbershop kind of scent. It's got that same kind of edge that the uh, Clubman has, only um, with some soft corners to it. Uh, real, this, is, this, is, this is another wonderful barbershop-like scent. Uh, if you try this, you will not regret it. It is is absolutely wonderful. Uh, you know, Hendrix Classics, they make this unscented shave soap, and you can add your own scents to it and uh, get any any number of uh, scented shave soaps. Now, the one scent that they have that is a wonderful barbershop, a fresh, fresh, classic barbershop scent, is their Cloud Nine scent. Cloud Nine. This is really a classic barbershop scent, and uh, oh yeah, that is that is definitely uh, again another step up from Tabak, where Tabak is a little again Tabak is is fresh, but it has that dry edge to it, a little bit of a powder note. Cloud Nine is a step up. It's very very fresh. It's very classic barbershop. Uh, this is another scent that will quickly become familiar to many, many viewers out there, many, many wet shavers. So if you're interested in another really good selection uh, for uh, barbershop scent, uh, a good way to go is to get the unscented shave soap from uh, Henry's Classics, which is a wonderful soap base, and just add a few drops to the shaving lather and also to the aftershave uh, balm and uh, you have a classic barbershop scent, not only in your shave soap, but in your shave balm. Fantastic, uh, fantastic system, and this Cloud9 is a wonderful barbershop scent. And finally, the latest in classic barbershop scents, but a barbershop scent overseas from Spain, and that is Droid Black, which is the Phoenix shaving homage to Floyd Black, and Floyd made in Spain, manufactured in Spain. This is being described as a classic Spanish barbershop kind of scent. And yeah, this is a barbershop scent with a little more refinement, uh, a little more gentlemanly quality to it. Uh, yeah, this is a really wonderful, fresh, refined, elegant, gentlemanly, masculine scent. 
think that's the other word that was missing during my description of all these here. They're all masculine. They all have a nice masculine scent to them. So uh, Droid Black is the homage to Floyd Black, which has been discontinued. So if you've never tried Floyd Black, grab some Droid Black because this is another terrific, terrific, terrific scent. And that's kind of an overview of the shave soaps that I have that I consider barbershop-like quality. Again, it's rather difficult to describe each scent to you uh, on the fly like this. Just know that they all share the same kind of DNA where you, when, you, when, you, when you experience them, you're going to know that it's a barbershop-like scent. Again, some will be more barbershop to some viewers uh, more than others based on where you, where you live, where you grew up. Uh, so uh, perhaps, uh, you know, Diver Down, Seaforth Spiced will evoke more of a barbershop memory uh, for you than, say, CAD or, say, uh, this barbershop. Or maybe this barbershop will evoke more of a memory of a barbershop and you'll claim this to be more barbershop than, uh, than say, uh, uh, you know, Tabak. Uh, it's going to vary a little bit, but all of, this, all of these have that same DNA. These are the scents, again, these are the scents we experienced when we were very, very young. Either a toddler going into that barbershop and getting that first, hit, first haircut, and those scents are just imprinted on you. And then maybe many years later, as a young man going in for, your, for a haircut and a shave, again, those scents, they're just imprinted on you. So that when you, when you sample them from any of these, any of these shave soaps, they're going to evoke that memory of a barbershop. That's kind of the way I see it. And uh, you know what? I hope you, I, I, you know, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree with that. That's kind of the way I see it. And these are all, all great, great shaving soaps. They're all wonderful. I especially enjoy the uh, Formula CK6, as you know, from Phoenix Shaving. They're wonderful. But the Hendrix Classics, uh, the, boy, this is a terrific soap base. And... Uh, Spearhead has another great soap base. These are all wonderful, wonderful shaving soaps. And of course, Sterling, well, Sterling, you know, this reputation precedes itself. It also has great, great lathering qualities. All these soaps just generate great, great lathers. You're going to get a great shave. You're going to get a great scent sensation. And I, and I do, I dare say that a lot of them are going to take you back that barbershop experience from your youth and that's why you would regard these as barbershops at the chase house. all right that's it thanks very much for tuning in again i really do appreciate it please share please subscribe please like hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video comment below let me know check out the executive shaving company use the code mark5 check out my blog georgeteam.com slash blog for my comic trip george other cartoons other videos like this i'm on facebook Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Uh, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zeredi where you'll find all the products I review in this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.